Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. We are so happy you found us. You are at Creativity and Inspiration. I'm Lisa. Today, I've got a really great video for you because I'm going to talk to you about the humble, the simple paper towel and how we can incorporate this into our pages in our journals, our pages in our planners, mixed media art, and so much more. So come with me and let's just get started. Okay guys, it's really simple. This is going to be a really easy video because it's all about the paper towel. And the paper towel I think is a great underutilized source in our creations, whether it's junk journals, mixed media, or planners because it is very, very versatile. And how is it versatile? Well, you can actually make it a focal point by creating paper towel art. And to do that, it's very, very simple. First, you just get a piece of paper towel and it can be any size. I made this one to fit on a um, journal page, a nine by six journal page, okay? So it fits right on there. And all I did with the piece of paper towel is I tore it all around, I inked the edges, and then I just crazy sewed around the edges. And it looks really cute. And at this point now, I could put it on my page, I could put a photo with a little paper caption on if I wanted to, or I could take it to that next level. And what I'm gonna do is pull in some more paper towel. And what I've done is I've just taken inks. I have only a few inks, but I've taken my inks and I've made some really pretty different shapes like rectangles, long strips, you know, almost a circle, that kind of thing with the different colors. And you just kind of lay them around like a mosaic. You can tear off parts of them if you want. You can, um, you know, create however you want to. And what I'm going to do is kind of just layer them up like a mosaic, like you might find in a... Um, you know, in an art, in a gallery, art gallery, on a painting. You can also, besides ink, use paints. Paints are really good, and if your paper towel has a pot pattern on it, you can really see it pop with the paints because the paints kind of stay on the raised part of the paper towel. They don't soak into the layers like the um, inks do. But with the inks, you really can get the texture of the paper towel to come out. So both ways are great. It's just depending, do you want, if your paper towel has a pattern that you want to bring out, or if you just want it for texture. And what I'm doing is I'm just kind of trimming around this. And then I'm going to put this right here. And actually, I'm going to trim it just a little bit more. And by trimming it, I'm just tearing off parts that I'm not going to use and then I'm just going to put it, place it let's see kind of like I'm just creating a collage something that I'm happy with then I'm going to go in with some more yellow and orange here at the bottom finish it there okay and there is my um, collage my mosaic whatever you want to call it it looks gorgeous and then to top it all off I might pull it up a little bit. To top it all off then I might come in with my butterfly here that we've made in other videos. I'll link one of them above and put it right in the middle and it's kind of like my butterfly is on flowers but this is all created from the very humble, the very simple paper towel. And how cool is that? So let me glue all this down real quick and I'll show you the finished product. And of course you can use whatever glue you choose. I'm using the very simple, humble, everything's simple and humble today. The very simple um, Elmer's glue. It's easy to use, it works. I, I find it's inexpensive and you know, with things being so expensive, having an inexpensive option for a craft supply is great. And remember, this is just to give you ideas. You can do this however you see it in your head because it is, you know, your creation. I'm just giving you my version of it because I love using paper towels, not only 
because of their absorbency and the different textures and the brilliancy of all the colors, but just the feel of it. It's such a different feel on paper that it just looks amazing. Okay, and there you go. Now you could put this on a page in a journal. You could make this a tip in on a planner. You know, just line it with some cardstock or just some simple copy paper on the back. You could use it as a page in a journal. You could put it in mixed media, make a whole canvas of paper towel art and the different colors and the different textures with the paint and with the inks. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video about the paper towel and some ways you could use it to create art. I would love to know down below in the comments if you're going to try to create something with paper towels in your next project. Thanks for being here today, guys. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little bell. We have tons of videos coming your way. Take care, and I will see you next time. Bye.